Almost all of us spend more time waiting than we'd like to. When you look around in waiting areas these days, you can see just how dependent people have become on their smartphones to help make waiting less annoying. This is why I recently went in search of an app that would allow me to complete surveys on my phone for tiny amounts of money during idle moments. Subscribers to the Multicollinearity channel have seen in other videos that I enjoy earning small amounts of money through Amazon's Mechanical Turk and Microsoft Rewards. Sites like these earn me less than minimum wage, but on average, I use them for less than three hours per week, and I earn 10 to $20 per month, depending on how active I've been on those websites. The trouble is, sites like Amazon's Mechanical Turk and Microsoft Rewards are only partially compatible with phones. So I was eager to find a phone app that I could use in those moments when I was away from a computer and had a few minutes in which I had nothing better to do. There are a lot of these apps that pay tiny amounts of money for completing simple tasks. Many of them, however, only work in the United States. Unfortunately, that's the case with the app that I'm about to review. After reading about different apps that might meet my expectations, I decided to try CrowdTap. My reading in places like the Beer Money subreddit led me to believe that CrowdTap would be a simple app, and I was pleased to see that this is in fact the case. I'll cycle through a few CrowdTap screens at this point so you can see how simple the interface is. In a typical day, I have several pockets of idle waiting time that last less than five minutes. When I noticed this, and also noticed that I rarely did anything useful in those minutes, I knew I wanted a survey app that would allow me to complete simple, brief surveys. While longer surveys generally pay more, they're a little more frustrating to complete when you're trying to fit them into the middle of your daily activities. I've been using CrowdTap for about a week now, and I can confirm that most of the surveys on the app take less than four minutes to complete. Some of them take less than 30 seconds to complete. The longest survey I've gotten so far took about eight minutes, and there was no problem when I had to pause in the middle of that survey, go finish another task, and then complete the survey a couple of minutes later. Another thing that I like about CrowdTap is that the screener surveys pay. You might get screened out and disqualified after a single question, but even that single question will pay at least three points. So CrowdTap avoids a problem that everyone hates about other survey apps. Other apps tell you you're disqualified from a survey after you've answered several minutes of questions, and they don't even pay you for the minutes you've already invested. As you can see on this screen here, the questions are generally quite simple in CrowdTap. So the surveys really are ideal for those instances when you're just waiting around for only two, three, four minutes, something like that. And as you can see here, you get told at the conclusion of each survey that you complete how many points you've earned. This 60-point survey had eight or nine questions in it, and it only took me about a minute to complete. Now, this isn't a good app for dishonest people. CrowdTap deliberately inserts attention and consistency checks throughout their surveys. There are reports of them banning users who aren't careful or honest in their responses. So don't use CrowdTap unless you're going to read and respond conscientiously to the questions. Let me now explain what the points on CrowdTap are worth. What I'm about to say is current as of mid-2022. You can cash out from CrowdTap as soon as you have 1,000 points or more. 1,000 points is worth a $5 gift card. 2,000 points is worth a $10 gift card, and so on. I believe your cash out must be in increments of a thousand points. Here's proof of a $5 Walmart gift card I earned. The cash out options currently include over 30 types of gift cards, including Amazon, eBay, Target, Home Depot, and several restaurant, grocery, and travel related gift cards. This variety ensures that you'll probably find a gift card that's as good as cash for you. So how much can you earn? If you watch this far into the video, you're probably someone who understands that answering surveys almost always earns you less than minimum wage, and you don't mind. In the first weekend that I downloaded the CrowdTap app, I spent about four hours using the app and managed to earn a little over $10 worth of points. Of course, 
Those four hours I spent were spread out in small increments of only a few minutes. For me, grinding through paid surveys for long stretches, even if some of those long surveys pay better, that sort of grinding just obliterates all the fun. As I got used to the CrowdTap app and its surveys, I did wonder about how all my private information would be used. On the other hand, it's not surprising that a market research app like this needs information like your home address, phone number, family size, etc. I also wondered if I might be getting more generous than average pay because I was a new user. Earning $10 in one weekend was nice, but I'm certainly not going to assume that I can keep averaging $5 per day. In fact, now that I'm past the novelty of learning about CrowdTap, I'm spending about 10 minutes on the app per day, and I'm earning about 50 cents worth of points for that daily effort. I did two time and earnings studies that suggest I'm now making around $2.50 to $3 per hour on CrowdTap. So far, I have not run out of surveys to do. My interest in continuing surveys always runs out before I run out of surveys to complete. And by the way, I love this tile design CrowdTap displays for accessing surveys because when I can spare five, 10 minutes, I find that working through about nine tiles or surveys in one sitting matches pretty well with my comfort level. Overall, the CrowdTap app is turning out to be just what I wanted. The interface is simple. The surveys are short. The surveys rarely have serious mistakes in them, and it all works well on my phone. As I noted before, that accessibility on my phone is crucial because it's my phone that I'm most likely to use when I have minutes of idle time in which I'd like to do something productive. $2.50 or $3 per hour obviously is not a good wage, but that's a little more than the cost of a Powerball ticket. And when all I'm doing is waiting a few minutes for other people, I'd rather be earning a modicum of money than scrolling through social media.